What's up guys, Coach Canales here coming at you with another Landmine University tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be going over one of my favorite body weight exercises for explosive rotational strength. We're gonna be going over the wall driver. I love this movement because it's based on Landmine University principles and you don't need any equipment to get it done. All right guys, without any further ado, let's get into this Landmine University training tutorial. All right guys, to perform a wall driver, first thing you're gonna need is some space on the wall. Now I recommend taking your time and getting into a really good starting position. So I'm gonna take you through that right now. What we're gonna do is start on one knee facing that wall. You want that front foot to be roughly 12 inches uh, from the base of the wall. And then we're gonna go ahead and post our hands on the wall like this. Now step one for this exercise is to get coiled up towards the front foot side. So what I want you to do is take those hands and rotate them towards that front foot. All right, doing that, I'm already gonna start that coiling process. That left shoulder is gonna go down and back, and you can see my right pinky is high. That's how we want the hand that's gonna be based on the wall. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and post up. So now I'm in a position where this arm is locked out. I'm driving forward through the wall. I still have that stagger, and I'm gonna coil up on the left side. Now Landmine University coaches know that to get as coiled as possible, we really wanna focus on that landmark. So I'm driving my left elbow into my hip and I'm hiking that left hip up into my elbow. Now there's a couple things I wanna keep in mind when I'm in this position. First of all, I want my feet to point straight ahead. You can even point that back foot in a little bit. I don't want my feet turned out. Secondly, I wanna make sure I have forward intent. So I want my eyes straight ahead and I wanna be actively driving forward through my target. Once you've found a good coiled position with forward intent, you're gonna explosively rotate and switch positions. Now, as you pull your hand off the wall, you wanna add rotational intent. So we wanna rotate the hand, and we really wanna focus on pulling that hand off the wall super explosively and getting to that landmark. If you focus on the pull, the drive into the wall is gonna become automatic, and you're gonna be able to use your core to stay in an athletic position and keep that forward intent. Now, to increase the difficulty of this exercise, all you need to do is move your hand down and move your feet back. And you'll see that's gonna allow you to train with a more aggressive spine and shin angle. And it's really gonna increase the intensity of this exercise. You're gonna be working harder, you're gonna be training at much more aggressive angles. We can perform these wall drivers a couple different ways. We can do one fast, explosive movement at a time and make sure we're sticking to each position or we can establish a little bit more rhythm and we can start going continuous. That's going to make it a little bit more intense, but it's going to help you string these movements together while keeping your level down low. Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial on the Landmine University wall driver. When my athletes are doing that exercise, they're usually doing three to four sets of anywhere from eight to 20 repetitions on each side, depending on the goal. This is a great way for beginners to just introduce coiling core training and get into a little bit of explosive rotational work. And it's also a great option for advanced athletes to include in their warm up to get them queued up, get them moving explosively, and have them start thinking about that landmark. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Landmine University.